How you doing? Morning, it's Jeff from RV Diagnostics. The sun is nice and bright. The garage behind me is empty. Uh, I still got a couple Class A's in the back to look at, but I'm working on mine. Um, we're going to go over a hydraulic heating system. Its name is Hurricane. It's the Hurricane book right here, and we'll go over several parts for you. Hurricane, a diesel hot water heating system. We call them hydraulic. Right there it is. I took the air meter out a while ago, finally got one in, or a part, and there you are. Now, this is the control board, technical support if you want to call them, or you just watch all these videos. That red light's on because the remote is open. The remote is, I'm going to put it on pause and going inside, the remote is that switch right there. System control heater on and off. It is off, that's because it's, and there's a green light and a red. It's off because I switched it off, and the panel out there, the board says this switch is open. Let's say you turn it on, you got nothing back out there. It's not turning on. You go out there and see that red light on, you have a problem in the switch circuit. Green means everything's going good. Red is there a fault out there on that board, and you go out and look. Hurricane, a diesel hot water heater, International Thermal Research, ITR is the system you look up. Now... This also supplies hot water, residential hot water heater, and your heat for your coach. All right, high, off, low, heater craft. All right, so we got one there. There's a bunch of them around, two or three of them. Now, these down below won't come on till you tell this to come on, the heat. All right, system, and you crank it up like 90. All right, so there's one there. There's one right there. That's uh, intake. That's the exhaust. There's one back here. All right, and then there's one in the bedroom. Okay, I just have one pump that pumps all these. They're like miniature, they're like miniature heater cores is what they are. And I'll show you the fan motor that's inside. When I did the heater core on this diesel pusher and the AC and all that, I uh, showed you actually the heater core for the heat exchanger. That's a water to air heat exchanger. Okay, I'm going to show you the, the fan motor that goes on top of them. This little guy. Okay, so it's a magnet. There you go, there's the part number. VD1-4310-937-4310-5310. One, one volt DC, 8 to 12 volt, made in Germany. P-A-P-S-T, and that's the direction it flows. Okay, there it is. That's one of the parts. Okay, I got several more to show you. I'm going to go over them. Remember, the red light in there was on on the panel. All right, your master panel. And now we're going to go over it. So, basically I'm doing preventive maintenance on this right now. Because in about a week we're going to pull out for three or four weeks. So I'm making sure everything's done. It's been a year. Uh, probably a good 600 hours. I'll leave this run all winter. Uh, keeps my basement warm and all that. With the price of diesel and all, I'm going to get ready to uh, modify some things. And just put electric heat in there and all that. That's a little bit cheaper, but everything costs, right? Alright, so... We're at four minutes on a video. Okay, now this is a flame sensor. That's exactly what it does. It's a little LED photodiode, and it senses the flame when that thing turns on there. It ignites, which is right in that little hole. You can see the flame burning. Okay, the part number is 16003. All right, test it. I think I got this one in 2019, October 10th, 2019. This is a igniter, heating element. It, it heats up, it gets hot. So let me put you on a pause and find a part number for that. All right, so the part number, igniter, is 4005. And there's the Aquastat, the photo cell. That's a 4012, but this is a newer model, um, and that 
was the cross-reference, okay? You take all these old part numbers and you cross-reference them. Circulating pump, which is right in there, okay? I rebuild the brushes in there. Right there, that guy, right there. All right, way back in there, okay? That's exactly what it does. So you take that, cross-reference that part. Of the combustion air fan motor, 32K or 45. It depends which one you got. One to 28, one to 29. This is a 45,000 BTU. All right, so there's the model. CO45. That's a 45,000. If it was a CO32, it'd be 33. 2,000. Since it's a 40 foot, you're probably going to go with the 45,000. If it's a 30 foot, you probably go with the 32. Alright, so just some things to go over. I'm going to look at this right now. We're going to go over on Okay. The nozzle is 30609-33. I'm going to show you something unique about this nozzle. I keep one extra one. If you see, there's a small hole, but around the circle, the metal, there's the brass ring right in that little slot there. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause. These two pieces come together. There's an external thread and an internal thread. 30609-33, made in the USA, and Del Van, December 08. So that's been around I just got tired of taking that one out and cleaning it when I'm out there. Uh, remember, it's diesel, so diesel's dirty. Let me put you on pause. I want to take it apart. Okay. So, this whole piece comes out of there. All right. That distributor, there's what they call it, but you notice there's cuts in it, the slices. See them? That's where the air blows around it and swirls it. Then it's got another hole. All right, that, hopefully you can see. Hold on here. I'm gonna blow it up for you real quick. See if I can get it to there. Right in there, that little bitty hole. A couple thousands. Usually you can see it like right, a little bit of light through there. Nah, it's not coming in, folks. Okay, there you go, I got it. All right, so that, you make sure behind that is clean. You make sure that that's clean all the way through and down inside. Remember, diesel is dirty, okay? Right there. Make sure down in there is clean. Put you on pause. Be nice, be nice, 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 there you go, okay.
Wow. Simple farm 